What's going on YouTube? I'm um, uh, going to try something, uh, well, a new video camera here, so uh, I'm going to have to uh, figure out what, you know, whether or not the camera is worth it or not. Um, i got a, a new 4K camera, so just let me know how um, if the quality is better. Uh, I can't really tell. I, I don't know. Um, I haven't downloaded to YouTube yet, so um, once I download it to YouTube, you guys can let me know and I'll check it out myself. Um, I'm, I don't know. It was on, it was an open box, so at Best Buy, so I picked it up. A little bit pricey, but hey, whatever. Um, so this is a uh, my weekly haul from oh three weeks. So it's not really a weekly haul. It's uh, the last few weeks. Um, I haven't really picked up a lot. Just got some new books. No eBay purchases, really, anything like that. Um, I do have a, a CBS submission I'm picking up tomorrow, um, so I'll be doing that. That's from the New York Comic Con. Um, a lot of books. Um, and uh, also I'm picking up a new, a new premium statue this weekend so I'll be showing a video on that just for that premium statue but uh, yeah guys so um, let me just get into the books I picked up these are all from the last three weeks um, I can't remember which ones which um, except for the ones I picked up today so I'll just go over the books I picked up in the last few weeks um, first and then I'll do the ones from this week um, just Lee Suicide Squad uh, number two this is the uh, um, Terry Dotson cover. Um, I just got it for the cover. Um, actually, I'm picking them up. I'm, I figured there's only six issues in them, so I'm going to pick them all up. And I'll probably get these, uh, um, the variant covers are doing. Also, I picked up uh, Wonder Woman. I might as well just keep picking these up and get the back issues I missed for the Jenny Frizen covers. Um, then I jumped on the bandwagon with this again. The Scooby-Doo team up. They threw this in my my pull list and uh, my my sub list and whatever sub box and uh, I didn't want it and I told them but then I decided to keep it so I guess they're trying to jump on that do that whole thing they did back when they had the Harley Quinn cover try to get some hype with it <clears throat> and I got a uh, Harley Quinn's Little Black Book number ten this is the uh, I guess an homage to uh, Neil Adams I don't know if that was I don't know who did the cover perhaps it was Neil Adams. <laughs> I don't know. And you got Obama down there. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I got that one. And then I got the uh, 1 in 25 Amanda Connor variant. So, okay. New East to West, 30. I don't know how far that book is, uh, how long that book's going to be running, but it's never let me down so far. I am behind on it. You know, I am catching up with some books, guys. I'm reading. I read one of the books from this uh, recent. I'll show you. Uh, Harrow County, 19. Awesome. One of the best series this past year, I believe. Um, then I got uh, Batman 14. Awesome cover. Love that cover. Um, I don't know who did that. SH. Then I got the other cover. And then I got uh, Harley Quinn. Of course, that's number 11. I'm always picking up the Harley Quinn. Don't even read it. I just pick them up because it's Harley Quinn. Um, and I got the sketch cover they did. Uh, I don't know who did this one either. Uh, is that just not? Oh, Cho. Yeah, Cho did it. And I got the uh, Walking Dead. And the other cover for the Walking Dead. So I guess this is a uh, long, what do you call it? You put them together and stuff, so connecting covers. Um, I'll have to pull them all out and see what they look like. Um, oh, I guess I did get some a couple back issues from my, my local, but I'll show... No, I'm not going to show them. Um, this, I got this for free. My local gave it to me. They're doing a uh, Marvel um, sale right now. Everything Marvel, even new issues, 25% off. Um, and I brought it up that I guess people have been disappointed in the sales of Marvel books lately. And I got, he, got, he got flared up and Start going off. So I told him I don't pick up any Marvel books. I don't really like any of the stories. So and he knows I like Thor. So he know I love God, God of Thunder series. Um, but I stopped buying it after the first couple issues of the female Thor. Um, so he gave me this for free. Told me to read it. I read it and I actually really liked it. Um, I am missing uh, a gap in the story because I never read Original Sin. So I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and read that and see what happened there. Um, but it's it wasn't pretty easy. It, it wasn't too hard to pick it up, you know, on where it's at. It's still a pretty good story. So I'm gonna have to go out and pick up the back issues of this and start reading that. So 
So that one's pretty good. Then I got these from the 50% 50 50 off bin. Um, this is the Jetsons. This is like number 20 something. And it was four bucks, I got it. And I got um, another one that's in the 20s. Uh, There's like 23 and 28, something like that. Uh, so I, I don't know which one's which. I'm not going to bother pulling them out of the bag. They were four bucks a piece. I have one and two of this. That's, I just grabbed them because they were 50% off. And eight bucks for the two of them. Not bad. Um, not in perfect condition or anything, but it's more just, you know, I want them. Okay, now, um, from the stuff I picked up this week. That's all the stuff I picked up in the last two weeks. Like I said, it wasn't much. I did get a figure, but I'll show that at the end. Um, then this week, new outcast, um, number 24. Uh, I think I got all of them. Can't wait till the new season comes out um, of it on, uh, is it Stars or Showtime, whatever it is. Uh, and then I got the new spread. Awesome. Awesome series. Glad that's still going. Then I got the uh, Storyteller Giants. I always pick these up. Love the artwork. The stories are pretty cool. The Jim Henson stuff. Um, I pick up all the uh, series of these. Um, pretty cool. Um, I don't know if there was a... I usually get the variant cover of these. And I don't know if this was... There was a variant cover or this is a variant cover. I don't know because there was only one cover. So I got the one I had. It usually is a variant cover. but. And then I got number 14. The Jenny Fraser cover. Awesome. A Wonder Woman. I love that cover. I would love to get the original artwork for this, but I'm sure it's pricey. So I got that. Let me put that one aside. Then I got, uh, of course, number four of Justice League Suicide Squad. I just realized, I think I'm missing number three. Hmm, jump to number four. Let me see if I'm missing number three. I swear I have. Hey, number two, where's number three at? Hmm. And somehow I'm missing number three from that. I must have put it back and I have to go back and pick it up. So, um, but yeah, so I got that one. This is the uh, um, the Finch cover. So I grabbed that one this week. That's the one I like the best. So, uh, into the Red Sonia stuff, guys. Awesome. Um, this is, uh, um, hmm. I guess this is like. This is one of the variant covers. I don't know who did this cover. Um, I'm going to have to look these up. Because um, there's a bunch of different covers of this. Uh, it says 4-1. I usually look at the uh, UPC. This looks like it says 4-1. So maybe it's the 4th uh, edition? I mean 4th cover or something? I, I don't know. I'll have to check that out. I got that one. That was just cover price. Then I got this one. Um, this is the 1 in 30 variant cover. It was $7.99. I got my 20%. So whatever that is, uh, 6 bucks, something like that. Uh, maybe a little bit more. So I got that one. It's a sketch cover. Um, I don't know what the regular cover is because I don't have it. Um, I grabbed what they did have. The only one I left behind was the uh, photo cover, which I'm just not into those photo covers. Now to the cool one. Um, the J. Scott Campbell. Um, this is just cover price. Um, I guess it's just a regular, I guess it was a B cover or something like that, but it's awesome and it was cover price. Um, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to get that signed. And I'll probably end up getting this one signed too. <laughs> so yes, I got the, uh, the um, 1 in 50 variant. Had it listed at 50 bucks. Of course, you know, I always get my 20%, but I also have, uh, I had a $40 gift card, what do you call it, a rewards card, whatever, I, got, I had enough stickers, so I basically paid nothing for this, so not too bad, two bucks, so that's not too bad, um, it's the Virgin cover for, uh, let me take this, they always put these big tags on the front, I don't have any Mylars right now, or standard size Mylars, all the guys, the golden age ones. Um, so I haven't got, I'll, I'll keep it in the archive, archival, whatever one they call this. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got the Virgin cover. Um, pretty cool. Look at that, that's definitely getting signed. New York Comic Con. So yeah guys, that's the big one this, this week. Uh, it's, a, it's the cool one I got. Now I got one, um, figure. Um, actually, you know what, um, I actually got this one. I realized... 
I didn't think I had this, but I found the, the box behind my desk, and I guess I bought it and I forgot about it, but it was the uh, Harley Quinn Christmas one, so, um, yeah, so I ended up getting that. Um, I had it for, I've had it for a while, but I don't know if I showed that or not, so, but I figured I'd show just in case, because I didn't realize I had it, I almost bought it again, thank God I decided to, uh, hold off from buying it, and, and I found it behind my desk when I moved things around, rearranged my room for you guys to notice. I moved my desk and I put my uh, my Warner, Warner Brothers cells up. Um, this is my Jim Blint print, signed and numbered 200, limited to 250. Um, and these are my Warner Brothers cells, you can see from the uh, Batman anime series. But then this is what the, the figure I got. Um, this was like uh, 20 bucks. No, not even that. I think it was like 15 bucks. But it's the Q-tip. Yeah, $14.99. Um, so that's what it was. Um, so it's the Q-fig, not Q-tip, Q-fig figure, Harley Quinn. Let me check it out. It's actually a pretty cool figure. Um, I don't you know what, maybe I will. Well, maybe I will. I hate when they have these, put the sticker on, uh, the tape on here, so. I'm going to put it back in the box afterwards, I'm not going to display it or anything like that. I don't have the room right now anyway, so... Yeah, so this is the figure. Let me see if I can get the light. Sorry guys, my lighting still sucks in here. It's a little wobbly. But yeah. So that's the figure. Hopefully this uh, camera picks up better than a low light. It's supposed to. Oh yeah, so I got that. And then it comes with a little, we're bad guys, it's what we do. In the movie, I guess. That line she says. Which I watched the movie. Oh. It was pathetic. Horrible. I so wanted to like it. I guess it was okay to watch it once, but it was pretty bad, guys. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that's it, guys. Um, Thanks for watching. I'm, I'm going to be doing a... Uh, video on, like I said, the CBCS unboxing from the New York Comic Con. I got a bunch of good books in there. A um, bunch of J. Scott Campbell stuff, Adam Hughes stuff. I got some pretty cool Cursed Pirate Girl stuff coming back um, that I had signed. And, uh, you know, a bunch of cool stuff for keeping an eye out for that. And I got my new premium statue coming. I already uh, put $100 down on the hold and I'm going to pick it up this weekend finish paying it off um but yeah guys so thanks for watching and uh, let me know how the video the quality of the video is um with the new camera um so yeah guys thanks for watching bye